Hello, hello, Mitt. How are you? Let me send the link. Alright guys, um, let's see. Let's wait for a couple more people to join Ubmit, before we start. Um, again, this is going to be a very quick demo of... Hey Demon, how are you? Yeah, I'm doing this in English just um, in case uh, I publish it on my YouTube so people can see it. Alright. All right, so I'll get started and maybe later on we can send um, Gondo the, um, the, the VOD, right? Okay, um, let, me, let me give you guys uh, then an example of what I did. I'm going to get a keyboard layout here on the left-hand side. Let me get my Elevate, for instance. Let me load it. Um, yeah, this is not a good example because I don't want multiple bottom so elevate full let's see if that's the one yeah so this is my elevate design so what i'm going to do here is download the json file for this and then here on the right hand side i'm going to click select json file i'm going to select elevate full and then i'm going to click generate as soon as i click generate uh, this zip file is going to be downloaded and then you have two files one file for the schematics and another file for the pcb layout uh, let me double click the schematics first. Takes a little while to load KiCad. Bear with me here. So here you have the schematics uh, with all the keys that you have on the keyboard. And um, then you have the columns, right, to wire the keyboard and the rows and the diodes and the switches and everything. So this is the first, uh, the first piece of the puzzle, right? Um, again, you don't have the other side of the PCB, which is the link between those and the microcontroller. But that's going to be a fixed thing that I can do uh, later on. This was the hard part because this is the dynamic part, right? This is the matrix, the schematics off the keyboard. All right, that's the first piece of the puzzle. And then, of course, the second piece of the puzzle is wiring those into an actual PCB layout. So if I double click here uh, on the Elevate Full PCB, you're gonna see that we have all the switches lined up as they should be. Uh, the sides are preserved. You have um, stabilizers, cuts, uh, you have a USB, uh, a USB uh, port, and every all the wires are here, even though they are not real traces yet. You have to do that manually, or later on we can automate that. Um, and you don't have the microcontroller, the capacitors, but you do have um, the diodes. You can see that the diodes are here and they're already in place, right? Um, so there is still more stuff to do. Like I need to hook up the the microcontroller, I, I need to hook up all the capacitors that are needed and things like that. But I want to say that the hard part, the heavy lifting has been done, right? Uh, just to, but, but this is one layout, right? So how can I prove that I didn't do this under the hood? Okay, let's get another layout here. For instance, let's get um, a full size keyboard like this, right? Let's download the JSON file for that, that one. Uh, sorry, I cannot drag and drop. So let me get the keyboard layout for the full size. Let me generate. I'm going to open it again. Let's take a look at the schematics first. Yeah, this is this is the part that was most being most time consuming for me. And then you can see that you have the schematics here for the for the full size keyboard. Of course, it overflows outside of the area that you have, but you can see that it's all there, right? 
uh, let me open up the schematics. Sorry, the PCB layout. And here you can see uh, one of the one of the the things that I do not have as of today is switches that are more than one U in height. Right? I support all the switches that are more than one U in length, but not in height or width, it, but not height. Right? Um, let me do a couple more so you guys can see that it's really flexible. Let me open up uh, one of the layouts that I've been working on, which is this. Let me download the JSON file and go through the same thing. Get the butter butterfly JSON, click generate, open the zip file that you get back, then open up the schematics. Yes, and you're right, Abmit. This is was the, this was the part that I were, was being really time consuming, and you would have to like do this wires one by one. That was a pain in the ass. And then if you want to change everything one step to the side, then the wires don't match anymore. It was it was hell on earth to do that manually. So I think that uh, that's very interesting to be able to do this, uh, to have this done for you, right? So again, here are the schematics, and this is the PCB layout for the butterfly keyboard that I'm... So there you have, you have a centered USB port. Oh, and some things that I'm doing is, you know, I'm changing the possibility to have the USB port on the left-hand side, the right-hand side on the center. You can uh, improve your borders here. You can make them larger, smaller. You can change the gap between the switches and the place where you cut the PCB. So that's another thing that I'm... I already have, but I did not expose through the web interface, right? Um, yeah, so you have that. Uh, let me do a final one, and then we can wrap this up because I, as I said, I, I need to leave. Um, so let me get this one here. Is another layout that uh, I've been playing with. Hey, what's up, NGB? Take a look at this. I created a PCB uh, CAD PCB generator from keyboard layout e editor. So I'm gonna download this um, this layout here and I'm gonna upload it, it to my PCB generator, okay? And then I'm gonna click generate and I'm gonna get back a zip file. And then when I open this zip file, I get two files, the schematics and the PCB layout. So if I open the schematics, you see that the schematics are already done for us. We don't need to do that tedious work of, you know, doing switch by switch. So you have all the columns here and all the rows and everything is wired up correctly. I, I assume I didn't test it, right? Uh, the diodes and everything. So that's one of the things that it does for you. And then the second piece of this puzzle is the PCB layout, right? Which is very time consuming, a pain in the ass to align all those switches, have the right footprints. And you can see that as, as, as soon as I click it, it opens uh, everything with stabs, cutouts, with everything that you need to, to start. As I was saying earlier, it doesn't add the microprocessors and the cap capacitors, but you can see that all the switch footprints and all the, the, the diodes are here. So this takes you, you know, ahead, um, you know, miles and miles ahead of where you should be if you're starting from an empty uh, thing. And I just see that I have a bug here because the cutout for this layout is not going all the way. So I need to look into that. But let me show you uh, other ones that I did, um, NGB. So this is another one that I worked on. Is a layout that I have for a keyboard that I'm playing with. So you can see that it respects all the positioning and everything from the layout. I also showed the guys um, before one full-size keyboard. So let me see, I think this is the full-size. So you can see the layout for the full size and it does everything automatic for you. So this is what I, I'm working on. I just wanted to show it and gather some feedback. Yeah, and um, so I, I, I'm gonna open up for some questions before I leave. I, I really have to, thank you NGB. Thank you very much. So do you guys have any questions, any comments? Uh, because I really need to go. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm gonna let me let me do something. Let me publish this. Um, let me get st. 
git add index pcb and static push heroku master so i'm making this available online for you to play with uh, if you guys want it's going to be at kibpcb.herokuapp.com let me just wait for this to finish pushing All right, it should be live here. Uh, but this is the old layout. How dare you? Hold on. <laughs> the keyboard gods are rejoicing <laughs> right now. I hope so. I am rejoicing because I was going to do and print one PCB um, and I was going mad. Like, Why do I have to do all this repetitive work? It doesn't make any sense. Hold on, what am I doing wrong? Oh, there we go. So it's available right now uh, at kbpcb.herokuapp.com. Uh, so you guys can play with it as much as you want. Just download the JSON from a layout and upload it here and click generate. You should be good to go. All right, guys, as I said, this, this was supposed to be a very quick uh, demo of what I have so far. And I wanted to gather some feedback. So if you guys are interested or if you're watching the VOD, uh, we have a um, Discord. So you can reach, reach me out on, the, on most of the keyboard-related keyboard related, um, um, Discords. I go by, on Discord, I go by F Cody F-C-O-U-R-Y. And then the number is 0001. So you can reach out to me if you're, if you're looking at, uh, if you're watching the VOD. All right. Okay, guys, I need to, to go. Um, I have to be somewhere. Yes. So instead of doing, you know, one thing that was not rep, rep, uh, reproducible, um, instead of spending the time on lining switches, I decided to create a, a source file that would, um, would do it for me, right? So that's, uh, that's the first version that I'm putting out there. It's already functional, but the idea is to have the full keyboard um, done, except for the traces, because I think that traces will be really hard. But if, you're, if you don't care about aesthetics, you could do like auto trace and just go along with it. I'm sure there are a, a number of bugs and things that are not right. But again, this is just version 0 0.1. Hey, I'm not Neil. How are you? I am just finishing the, the stream. I need to be somewhere. Um, so I guess I'll catch you guys later. Thank you everybody for joining this quick and dirty stream. Good as well, good as well. Sorry, I have to go. Bye guys, have a good, good afternoon.